Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Uh, I thought I'd do a little quick video here. Um, these are a set of AFR 235s that a customer had sent in for me to port. Um, yes, they did come CNC ported. I ported them even better. They'll be on the flow bench soon. You'll probably see that in a later video. However, this is not what that video is about. Uh, this is, they've been bead blasted um, and they're sitting up here on the mill fixing to be milled down. But I want to talk about this. You see these spots here? And you can see them here, here, and they're here. Um, what this is, is it's um, oxidation or corrosion. Most people with aluminum heads kind of forget that um, even though aluminum can't rust, it can't oxidize. And so if you run straight water, this can happen. It's not that the aluminum itself is bad, but here's a tip for you. If you have this and you can't run an antifreeze, let's say you're a drag racing deal, and you can't run an antifreeze and you're wondering, how do I prevent this? Typically, this stuff happens because you don't have enough grounds on the engine. Fuel injection guys are well aware of this because they have to put grounds just to make sure the things work. Otherwise, the ECU reads wrong. But um, this means you need to have more grounds because what's happened here is um, the oxidation with the water, and that's called, a, I think it's electrolysis, um, happens. And part of that's because it doesn't have a good ground. So it's easier for the water to uh, react with the aluminum to make the oxidization that pulls off this aluminum. So a uh, small tip for you, run grounds. And what I mean by this is you can run a ground from each cylinder head down to your chassis and then a ground from their block all the way back to your battery. Just a little helpful hint um, in case you're wondering how deep do you think it will take for me to mill these out because they look pretty, pretty bad. Well, I'll tell you here in just a second. Okay, this right now is 6,000 soft. So you can tell the deck looks pretty good. But if you notice, still got some of that electrolysis going on. So we'll take another 6,000 and see what it does. I could go 1,000 for each time, but I don't know where this thing's going to end up going as far as CC-wise on the chamber. So next step, we'll just take six, see if it goes away. Okay, now I've taken off a total of 12 thousands. And you can just still see it right there. Uh, am I too worried? No, this would actually probably seal it. This is not in the actual fire ring itself. Um, but I am going to mill more off this because the guy wanted the chamber smaller. But I just thought I'd show you. It's still not gone. The center one still speckled there. So, hydraulic that electrolysis really can do some damage on some decks. But, so, um, this would be good to go. I would run it. But in case you're wondering how deep that was, 12,000. 